Good morning YouTube. Um, so it's fairly, well, about 8 o'clock here in New Zealand. Um, we're set for a really hot day today. Oh, that banging noise you can hear is a bird scarer down the road. Um, farmers use them for their crops. It's not going all day, it just goes for mornings mostly and evenings. Anyway, so just ignore that. I can't do anything about it. Um, so I just wanted to have a little update on the streptocarpus because I uploaded a video yesterday showing just how they had um, completely killed over <laughs> with all those really hot temperatures. And I wanted to show you that they really have completely recovered now. I did lose a few leaves on them, but generally um, they're looking really good. Um, so this little one I was concerned about because this is one of my favourites. Um, but that seems to have recovered nicely and um, yeah, I'm happy about that. It is an actual deeper purple than it's showing on, on the screen right now. But um, yeah, that one's recovering and it's got, you know, more new buds to come. And then all the others are over here and they are or have recovered really, really well. I find that streptocarpus are quite forgiving. Um, they're, you know, you can keep them in a nice shape. You don't have to have big bulky plants like this. I've let them go. But these ones I've sort of, you just break leaves off and they don't seem to mind at all. Um, fairly easy to look after if you don't cook them. <laughs> Um, so let's have a look. We've got this lovely violet coloured one back here, which um, is another one of my favourites. In fact, they're all my favourites. I love all of them. Um, so I've got some new buds coming on this one and um, there's some buds coming on that one. And there's another blue one. I got a lot of these bluey purple ones because I did a lot of cuttings. Um, and I've still got them. This is a rather attractive one as well with the... Um, with the striping on them, the white center. Really, really like that one. And they more or less take the same care as an African violet. Um, it's not recommended to get the leaves wet. It's not recommended to get the crown wet. Um, and you, you know, in this case, I've, I'm keeping them in these trays where there's water underneath, you know, on this hoar tag or um, clay pellet stuff um, but every now and then I will come and pop a little bit of water in the top of the pots um, but generally um, they're reasonably easy to look after and um, yeah and I, I'm just so pleased I didn't completely lose them um, so the pink one back there with a the yellow center is looking really good as well and then I've also got a white one coming here um, there's another one, very pale pink, that's just going over it. Whoops, sorry, not in camera. Going over. And, um, yeah, so I think this is another blue one. Well, it may not be, actually, because it's got one of the store-bought labels in it. So, yeah. So, and they're quite good. You know, if the leaves are looking a little bit horrible on the ends, you can just cut them. You can just cut them to shape and they don't go, you know, sometimes when you cut leaves they go a bit brown and ugly on the ends. These aren't too bad. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it is getting to the end of their flowering season, but we are getting some more buds coming down here, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, so they are going to be living in this area. Um, maybe not, well, I may put them in here through winter because I've now... Put, um, the old fella whose orchids I sold recently, um, those who watch my U channel will know that I've sold all his orchids for him. And he had this little greenhouse and he said he didn't want it and did I want it? And, you know, I thought, well, it might be handy. They're only cheap greenhouses. And I've my husband's reorganised this area and so he's put it up in there for me. And I may well put the strips and the violets in there for the winter. I'm not sure about the violets yet, so um, we'll see. But these are probably going to live here throughout the summer months in future. They do get a little bit of sun. They get morning sun when it comes up from behind me. Um, just dappled sunlight. And then in the afternoon, they get a small amount of sun, but not enough to harm them, um, which is probably closer to their natural environment, really. Um, you know, you want them to, you want to replicate their natural as much as possible. So, um, sorry about that, a little glitch, don't know what happened there. Anyway, so um, I've got Miss Penny here. Where is she? Having a little whingy down there. She's saying, all right, Mum, we've had our walk. How about breakfast? In a minute, Penny. No hurry. We'll get breakfast in a minute. 
she's a little bit stressed at the moment. We're trying a crate trainer for when we go on holiday um, because it'll be easier for Polly and Clive to look after her, but um, it's not working out very well. And we may well ship her out to my son's. He can look after her for three weeks because she is high maintenance. Anyway, so um, so I just wanted to show you after uploading that video yesterday just how they've recovered and how you can recover plants. I really did think I'd lost them, so um, no, I haven't. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So thanks for watching. Please like or dislike and subscribe. If there's any um, videos that you want me to cover, I'll try and cover them. Um, uh, just put it in the comments down below and um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Bye for now. So I'm just going to tap this video on the end of the Streptocarpus one so you can see my Gloriosa Lily. Um, it's doing exceptionally well. Um, this is one of my few successes this year. I feel that the summer has really got to me this year and um, I haven't had a lot of success with things but um, this one is. So we've got to celebrate what works and what doesn't. <laughs> so let's have a closer look at the flowers. So they start off... Um, so we'll look up here so they start off as these buds and then they open up like this and then they unfurl if you like uh, where is it I'm gonna find it here we are they unfurl and the the petals go backwards like this and you've got the center here and then they gradually this comes back down to end up like this so this one's just going over now you can see the um, pollens drying up. So I usually take these off. Um, I'm not going to take this one off yet because it still looks reasonable. But yeah, I always pluck off the dead ones or the um, ones that's gone over to encourage more. But yeah, I think this is one of my few successes this year. And I am going to do a video soon about what worked and a whole load of stuff that didn't work. <laughs> okay, bye.